Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate the weighted average. Now this can be used for a lot of different things, but in this example, we're going to look at it for the case of calculating the weighted average of three tests that have different values or different weights. So in other words, let's say we have assignment one, assignment two, and an exam. And in those three tests, in the first assignment, we got 70%. In the second one, we got 92%, and in the exam, we got 75%. However, these three tests have different weightings, so it's not as simple as adding the three up and dividing it by three. So you can't just take the average. Instead, we have to take the weighted average. So let's say that our first assignment was worth 20% of our overall grade, in other words, our weighted average. Let's say assignment two was worth 30% of our weighted average, meaning that the exam is worth 50% of our weighted average. Now in order to calculate the total weighted average, we calculate the weighted value or the weighted result of each of our three items, which we can then sum or add them all together to get our total weighted average. So let's start with calculating the weighted result for assignment one. So our first assignment, we have 70. So to get the weighted result, we do 70% times 20%. In other words, we have 70, which is our result, and we multiply that by 0.2 or 20%, which gives us 14%. For assignment 2, we have 92 and we multiply that by 30%. Now you can do this by hand or on a calculator, but just to show you, we have 92 times 0.3, which gives us 27.6%. Because remember, we're dealing with percentages. And then finally, we have the exam, which is worth 50% of our result or our weighted average meaning we can do 75 times 50%, which is 0.5, giving us 37.5. And again, that's percent. And finally, to get our total weighted average, I'll just move everything over here so we have some space. We add the three up. So we have 14% plus 26 plus 27.6% plus 37.5%. Now, if I do that real quickly on the calculator, we get 79.1. And again, that's a percentage, meaning that our weighted average is equal to these three summed. In other words, 79.1%. Now, this can be applied to many different situations. But I hope this example helped you understand how you calculate the weighted average. A quick summary, you have your three results and their different weightings. You multiply each item by its weighting to get the weighted result. And then you sum all your weighted results to get your total weighted average. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.